Lori Ann Spanya with you today to talk about how your astrology is holding you back through the Ascension timelines. Okay, I get it. I love astrology. In fact, I will say that in my lifetime, I never really had to learn it because somehow it just got downloaded into my consciousness. In fact, I have a sort of a parallel timeline reality where I know myself to perceive that I, I perceive myself to have experienced living in a monastery where we studied astronomy and we studied the stars and that wouldn't be the only lifetime sorry I'm on a lake it's a little loud that wouldn't be the only lifetime I relate to where I studied the stars and studied astronomy and navigated my way by the stars because I never really had to learn it in this lifetime I just picked it up I just downloaded it and it just grew right and I pick up pieces and then I got really good at it and I used it to navigate my way a lot of through a lot of challenging times and I still use it to take the pulse on where the collective is because the reality of astrology is that it is a reflection of your consciousness and the collective astrology is a reflection of the collective consciousness and your astrology whatever shows up in your astrological chart will always be a reflection even as it relates to the collective of where you are where you were just recently where you were and the energy you have traveled or experienced energetically through your body being consciousness up until any now moment when you look at your astrology is always a reflection just like everything it's all one big mirror so your astrology is a great tool but it's not a predictor it should never be used really as a predictor not really because it can always shift in every now moment because every now moment is always a new moment now sorry this boat so that said your astrology is holding you back lots of times because you're defining yourself based on not only what your birth chart says and dictates who you are which that's just a reflection of who you were at the moment you were born but in any now moment it could be a whole new story and you don't even necessarily know that it's shifted or changed it just reveals to you something else that's in there right so your 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 belief system of who you were if you take that with you into the now moment you're bringing it into who you are now but it doesn't even define who you are anymore and if you're looking at it for a predictor of where you're going it's now defining you rather than you and your higher state of consciousness choosing for you we do this all the time with retrograde planets and everything else we're like waiting but the astrology is always a reflection now why is it still a helpful tool for humanity because it is providing some indicator of where collective consciousness is but it's always going to be through the lens of you as a conscious being it's always going to be through you the perceiver so this universe is just going to present to you a story of your creation based on how you see and perceive the collective in any case if you allow astrology to define you and or be your storyline and project that into your future it's only a limited story you indeed all of us are the most expansive beings way beyond the limitations of any astrological chart and I know that would push a lot of astrologer buttons oh that would I said that to a friend of mine a few years ago who's an amazing astrologer but when I said it to him he's just like no just keeps expanding you and I thought in my mind at that time that's because he hasn't reached the limits of his own paradigm regarding astrology and in my storyline I used astrology so much I loved it I've always loved it I still love it 
and yet I can see all the time like this is too limiting for me I want to go beyond how it's defining me or presenting I know something greater is possible and so now even our astrology and what's presenting is giving us new options we're learning about new planets new planetary systems new, pla new planetary bodies new celestial highways new new stargates and they and new asteroids and they are barely even identified now because our consciousness is expanding so far beyond our astrology and our astrological storylines and universe is presenting that to us as an option which that's beautiful too but remember it's still a reflection and if you use it to define you or to dictate your reality it will limit you you are much greater than even the astrological reflections that are being presented and while they can be very helpful tools for navigation don't ever let them limit you and don't ever let them define you because you are so much more than that okay I hope this has been helpful <laughs> Get some words. oh it's going by if you like this please comment I'd love to hear your feedback I recognize that this will push some buttons but also my hope is that it will expand you beyond the current limitations of your own reality because I know for myself I've been working for years on energetically unhooking and cleaning out the limitations of my own astrological chart and it was quite challenging not wanting what astrology said to define me or to mandate where I could live or what I could do and as much as I I recognize it and honor it I also know we must not let ourselves be limited by it or anything else for that matter because there's so many new potentials and possibilities that are so 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 exciting opening up for humanity and we want to let those be available to us so okay with that I just want to say thank you so so much for listening please like like and subscribe to the channel and share the video so that others can benefit as well I realize it's very progressive information and make sure you head over to lauriespania.com to grab lots of amazing gifts like working with your animals telepathically energetically healing with them and also playing and communicating and evolving with the crystals the crystalline consciousness the Christ consciousness activating your dormant DNA using the crystals to do that and for your animals too plus so so much more I'll put the links in underneath the video so you can stay connected that way and so that you can grab all those great fun and free gifts okay until next time all my love okay bye bye